today, we will see misconceptions related to cost price and selling price and an interesting question. Misconception 1. Which of the following statements is true for cost price and selling price? Some students believe that the selling price is always greater than the cost price because they think the items purchased are always sold at higher prices so that it can be a profit. They do not understand that an item can be sold at a price lesser than the cost price which may cause a loss. Therefore, selling price is always greater than the cost price is an incorrect statement. In many situations, selling price could be less than the cost price. Some of these situations are as follows. A fruit seller purchased pomegranates from a farmer at the rate of rupees 30 per kg, but due to a small number of buyers, he was not able to sell them. At last, he decided to sell those pomegranates somehow, for which he set their price as rupees 25 per kg, which means selling price is lesser than the cost price. Shopkeepers often purchase items in large quantities. Sometimes many of them get damaged. Such damaged products are hard to sell. That is why a shopkeeper sells such items at lower prices. Sometimes this price is even less than the cost price. Now from all these situations you can understand that option 1 is an incorrect answer. The correct answer is selling price can be greater than, smaller than or equal to the cost price. Option 2 is the correct answer. Misconception 2 a shopkeeper buys a book for rupees 239 and sells it to Manish for rupees 210. In this situation, what will be the cost price of the book for the shopkeeper? Sometimes, due to confusion in the names of cost price and selling price, the students understand that the price at which the shopkeeper purchases an item is called selling price and the price at which he sells an item is called cost price. But this is a misunderstanding. With this understanding, incorrect answer option 2 is chosen. The correct understanding is that the price at which the shopkeeper purchases an item is called a cost price and the price at which he sells an item is called selling price. Along with this, it is also necessary to understand that here, rupees 210 is the selling price for the shopkeeper and since Manish is purchasing the book at this price, 210 is the cost price for Manish. Now let's solve an exciting example. The ratio of selling price to cost price of an item is 5 is to 4. Find the percentage of profit for the shopkeeper on that item. Do you know that we can solve many examples without using the formula? We will solve this example in this way. Here, the ratio of selling price to cost price of an item is equal to 5 is to 4. That means, Selling price of an item is 5 by 4 parts of its cost price. Since neither the cost price nor the selling price is given, it may seem difficult for you to find the profit percent. But for your information, we can solve such problems on the basis of the given information only. That means, SP divided by CP is equal to 5 divided by 4. If we consider cost price is equal to rupees 4, then the selling price will be rupees 5. Therefore, profit is equal to SP minus CP which is equal to 5 minus 4 which is equal to rupees 1. We can say that there is a profit of rupee 1 on every rupees 4 of cost price of that item. So profit percent is equal to profit by CP into 100% which is equal to 1 by 4 into 100% which is equal to 25%. In this way, you can solve many examples very easily. Today, we have seen misconceptions related to the cost price and selling price and an interesting question.